The first part of this course is about open source software. So the first thing we need to do is talk about what the term means. Originally people talked about free software, but at least in English, the word free and freedom has two disparate meanings. It can mean free is not limited or controlled, such as in expressing your freedom of speech and freedom to distribute, or it can mean free as in no cost or payment. People often talk about getting free beer or free samples, for example. So in 1998, people began to use the term open source to be clearer about what was meant by freedom. If you have open source software, that generally means that anybody who respects whatever license is used can examine the software, modify it, and redistribute it to other people. And it doesn't matter who they are, exactly what it is going to be used for, as long as the license rights are respected. There are two basic classifications of licenses. One is so-called permissive licenses. BSD is the best known example of that. If you make changes to the code and use it in your product, you do not have to give it to other people that you distribute to. This is often preferred by companies because they're reluctant to give all their changes out to other entities. A more restrictive license, the best known example of being the GPL or General Public License from the Free Software Foundation, says that any changes to code you make, you must make available to all people that receive your product. This is sometimes called a copyleft license. So now that we know something about what the term open source means and how it relates to freedom, we can move on to get into more details.